Welcome back to the Bill Burr Netflix special. I'm your host, Jamie. Very tired. I was very tired in the last video. That's why my voice is so down and so depressive. Now I'm a little more awake. I had a little too much Advil and some Mountain Dew, so I'm doing I'm doing PG. Brockhampton is a 23-year-old producer based in Lund... Well, that's the wrong video. Brockhampton is a Texas-based boy band filled with producers, singers, rappers, and artists releasing hip hop music under the collective name of Brockhampton. I already kind of I already kind of went over their major projects, so I'm just gonna rant about how I couldn't really do a video on the Ginger cover because it's it's just the picture. God damn HK, you 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 fucked me again. However, the project we are going to look at today. The single covers to the Saturation 1 trilogy. It's a simple album cover, but everyone and their mother wants to know how to make the logo that looks like that. Don't worry, Paper Birds, I will feed you. Don't worry, Brockhampton subreddit, I'll, I'll tell you how to make your own stickers and album covers just like them. Alright, so first things first, I started by making a colored yellow box that we will eventually be creating a clipping mask of for the photo. It doesn't have to be yellow, any color. I just do it so it stands out. The font is universal for the design. The font is Arial, bold for the Brockhampton logo, and a regular Arial for the parental advisory. Look how fucking perfect. Look how fucking perfect that is. It's literally the same. I am such a good graphic designer. Burp or puke, what are the two? <coughs> Add a box around the text, stroke two, boom parental advisory sticker for all you kids that want to make parental advisory stickers that look like Brockhampton. Oh my god, I'm looking at the sound waves for that pop. It's a straight line. Oh my god. I have the photo, create a clipping mask. I went over that a little bit more in detail on my last video. So check that out if you're still concerned about how to make clipping masks. Desaturate, contrast, add noise. Cause it's a modern day album cover design, bruh. Everyone needs the noise. And now, baby birds, what you've all been waiting for, how to make that goddamn logo. All right, so here's the thing. You can't do this in Photoshop. You're gonna have to open Illustrator. I know, it's weird. I don't like it either. I'm just getting used to it myself, but it's the only way. Type out what you want, and the font I used is Helvetica New LTST 93 black extended downloaded that online it was a free download that i think i torrented but you can find it i'll leave the font in the description so you can just copy and paste and find it yourself create an outline of the text and duplicate that twice you have three copies and change the colors to whatever you want and go to the tool bar on the left it's called the blending tool drop down the menu and then click the specific steps button It'll ask you for a number to put in. I put in 1000. Hit OK, and then all you have to do is click on the order that you want them to be raised. So I usually do from top to bottom. So click, click, click. And then the specific steps will be pretty much gradiated for that. And boom, that's how you make the logo. Export that as a PNG, place and arrange the logo as necessary, and you're done. And now you can go to the Brockhampton to the subreddit and find other GarageBand producers and iPhone mic rappers to start a boy band with. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I'm based as an edutainment channel, so bleeping curses is going to be a thing I need to get used to. But hey, what are you going to do? I want to make money. JPEG Mafia video didn't make me any money because Free the Frail was played for an extra 15 seconds. But hey, I'm not going to complain. All right, now hurry up and make your own album before Brockhampton releases Iridescence 2. Have fun, don't trust the cake, and have a pleasant day.